Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're gonna do in this short video is give you six key facts on how and why an electronic compass in an outdoor GPS unit will aid your navigation experience. The first question we need to answer is why do we have an electronic compass on an outdoor GPS unit? The electronic compass gives you accuracy at small movements. If you think about it, it works off satellites thousand miles above, and if we're walking along and we turn our GPS to 90 degrees, we've actually only moved three inches and the satellite goes well you've not really moved but for us as a walker a cyclist it's very important to know the direction we need to be pointing for example there might be a cliff that way and the path might be that way so Garmin put in electronic compassing which gives you the accuracy of small movements it's a three axis compass which means it doesn't need to be kept flat like a traditional compass we can hold it at whatever angle and it orientates accordingly so the first point is it's we have an electronic compass to give you accuracy at small movements. It's three access, therefore it doesn't need to be kept flat. And that's why we had an electronic compass in an outdoor GPS unit. The second question is, do all GPS units have an electronic compass in? No, they don't. Some of the basic models do not. For example, the E-Trex 10, E-Trex 22X, also the E-Trex 20, and also the Garmin GPS Map 65. Now the GPS map range is quite an easy one to work out because if it's got an S on the end, it means you've got an electronic compass. So if you've got an old unit, a 64 or a 62, not a 62S or a 64S, the ones without an S, that means it's not got an electronic compass in. So to summarize, E-Trex 10 doesn't have an electronic compass in it, E-Trex 20, 22X, each, and, and currently the GPS map is 65. Those are the GPS units without the electronic compass. All the others don't. Easy way to check is switch on your GPS unit, go to your compass parade, and just rotate your GPS accordingly. If the compass rotates at those small movements, even if you're indoors, you know you've got your electronic compass built into your Garmin outdoor GPS. The third key question is, does it replace a normal compass? No, it doesn't. You need your normal compass in your rucksack just in case. And I don't really think of it as a compass. I use it as a device that orientates my map or alternative the navigation I need to be walking. If I want to work out which is north, south, east and west, I'll get my silver compass out of my rucksack and use that accordingly. The electronic compass I'll use when I'm navigating to a route or navigating a track or alternatively I'm doing a backtrack or I want to see which way I need to walk down a path. So it doesn't replace your normal compass, so keep that compass with you. This is more for the electronic guidance that you're going to get from your GPS when you're out walking in the hills. The next key question to answer is, do I need to calibrate this compass yes you do Garmin say we should calibrate our compass if we move more than 100 miles or alternatively we change our batteries but I actually calibrate my compass at the start of every day's walking just switch on your GPS unit at the start of your day's walking and calibrate that compass when are you going to use your electronic compass as I've already said the key time you're going to use that electronic compass is when you're navigating that route so if you're navigating a route you're pre-planned on it you'll get that accuracy at small moves so as you turn your GPS around to work out which way you need to go your GPS will give you that accuracy also if you're navigating to a single waypoint so again if you've done a route plan on your computer and you get lost and you want to come down off the hill create a waypoint and navigate to that waypoint create a waypoint and navigate to that waypoint you can come down in a control manner and those short navigation experiences really good with that electronic compass you'll hold it there you'll walk steadily and it will as you walk it, the electronic compass will make sure you're going in the right direction the next question is does the electronic compass work at all times no it doesn't actually when you get walking above a certain speed just a couple of miles an hour the gps stop using the electronic compass and start to use the direction that you're walking in from the satellite so if you're walking along and you're walking at three or four miles an hour and you turn your gps through 90 degrees you'll see the electronic compass stays in the same direction which is actually going to go that's not right because when i stop it will actually orientate the compass accordingly. That's because when you're walking along at a, a reasonable speed, it, the GPS knows which direction you're going because it's getting that from the satellites. Sometimes you'll find you've not calibrated your electronic compass. If you're walking at slow speeds, you'll see it jumping around a bit. Once you get above a certain speed, it jumps onto using the satellites to get the direction you're walking. The compass now steadies out and the direction it pointing is a lot more accurate. Then you need to know that you need to calibrate your electronic compass. So key thing is when you're walking as very slow speeds or your spot you'll use the electronic compass when you walk start walking above one and a half two miles an hour your gps will get its direction directly from the satellites which therefore it gives you that little bit more accuracy and stability as you're going forward especially if your gps is bouncing around on a backpack tether or on a carabiner 
Many thanks for watching this video from GPS Train. I very much hope that now you've watched it, and you know a little bit about my electronic compass on a Garmin GPS unit, you can utilize it more and it enhance your navigation experience when you're out in the hills. If you are watching YouTube, please do subs subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you can leave a comment in the comment box below, that would be very much appreciated. And many, many thanks for watching this latest video from GPS Training.